Well, today we're in the workshop and uh, we're going to dissect the clutch sleeve cylinder that I recently replaced in the six wheel drive Land Rover Parenti Ambulance. I also have a 4x4 soft top GS as well, um, which uses the same slave cylinders. Now, this clutch, when I put my foot on the clutch, would take, I'd estimate, between 25 and 30 kilograms to push the clutch down. Since changing this, it's massively different. So uh, today, I'm going to try and figure out why exactly this uh, was so problematic. Now, it is a known thing that they do, event do occasionally leak. And uh, I'm one of these uh, idiots that leaves my waiting plug in all the time. But uh, I check it regularly. And when brake fluid started coming out, I thought it was time to change it. So uh, we can have a bit of a look in here. I'm not sure how much we're going to be able to see, but I can see a bit of rust pitting around inside here. Normally they have a dust boot here, which recently fell off and landed in all the sawdust on the floor of my workshop. And I do leave a little bit of sawdust around the bottom of the vise here in case these things uh, do leak. Alright, so the next decision I've got is exactly how I'm going to autopsy this. Um, ideally, I'd like to put some pressure in there and pop that cylinder all the way out, but I don't want that stuff all over my workshop. Um, so we're going to probably see how I can get this out as best I can. Alright, so straight away, the rust pitting I can see in here is obviously not important to the function of the cylinder. There we go, we got it to bounce up. Now, a lot of people say you can get re-sleeving kits and you can put a new seal in them. Um, and yes, that's true. I'm not sure if I want to go there yet. Let's have a close look at this. This is the piston. The rubber seal has seen better days. Um, and there's a bit of junk in here. Hopefully it's not stuff that's just picked up off the vise when I've dropped it down there. But um, I have a bit look at a bit of a different look at the actual sleeve itself in here and have a look. I'm going to have to get some light in a better direction to see exactly what's going on in here. But on the surface, it looks pretty smooth. This could be re-sleeved reasonably easily. I could put a new seal in this, but I don't know. I'd be tempted to clean this up and have a close look. Now the top of the piston does have some scoring on it. So yeah, it does look a little bit knackered. And the front definitely looks knackered. I think there's been water in the fluid and that has been half the problem here. Uh, yep, there's some deep scoring. Now that I can get the, the light correct on here, there's at least one big deep score all the way up the side there and um, so if this stuff is what I think it is and it's come out of there there's been metal shavings stuck in there that have probably been sitting in this lip which I think this is actually meant to have an o-ring in it um, off memory I don't think it's meant to be just this one rubber seal in there I think it's meant to have a second one so this could be refurbed but uh, you know, I don't think I'm going to bother for the, the amount of money it costs. I think it's about 40 bucks for another one of these. So, we can put this in backwards. Yeah, okay, so it comes up smoothly, stops about there. And then it's got a bit of a, yeah, it's got a few hard spots in there. And of course, I was waiting for that spring to come off. <laughs> but at least we can get a grip on this and remove it that way. And now everything's on the floor, so I'm going to have to pick it up. Alright, I've just given it a quick hit with some degreaser. I'll try a zoom lens here. See if we can get a nice close look at this. I've noticed that there's definitely rust pitting around the edge of the piston here. And uh, so yeah, it should be nice and smooth and shiny, a bit more like that side. So, given that this is mostly on one side, what I think might have happened as there's been a bit of water in there, which certainly is reflected by the, the state of the fluid that came out. And uh, it's probably been sitting at the top, like the water has floated to the top of the fluid and uh, made contact with that bore and rusted that out. I think we can whack a rag in here and uh, a drill bit and um, give the cylinder a bit of a clean up. I put a bit of degreaser down here as well and we can see what's happening in here. So if we rotate this around, 
I wonder if I can find a position at which this is possible to see in here. But uh, there is a very big deep score that I can feel with my finger. If I put my finger here and roll around, I can actually feel the groove. So there's definitely rust pitting has emerged on one side of it. And what I can imagine that would probably do is as the piston is trying to move, uh, where is the piston here? It's trying to move up the cylinder, but it's got some drag on one side. So it's trying to skew the piston, which would be making it jam. And if if I'm correct in assuming that there should be an O-ring on here, that would further compound things because there's no secondary point of contact to balance it out. So it's trying to jam and push in the wrong orientation. So, um, yeah, I can see that would certainly do that. Um, I'm going to tape it spring back on and drop this in. This would be relatively easy to uh, to reassemble or to re uh, refurbish. But I think at this point, uh, the new one that I've already put in there will probably last me quite a while, given my use case. Um, if I do have to do that again, I will be getting a stainless sleeved cylinder. But for now, when I lose everything on the floor, I think that's pretty much what happened. We got a bit of rust in the slave cylinder. And yes, the fluid in there was very crappy and brown and had little bits of water in it and all sorts of stuff. So... I'd say, yeah, water in the slave cylinder. Anyway, I'll put that on my spare parts shelf so that uh, if I need to replace, say, the boot or I can recycle a piece off it in the future, I can use it. But uh, for the most part, this one's done. Anyway, we'll find some more interesting video um, content in the near future. Um, I'm a little bit uh, under the gun at the moment. Had a lot of stressful things happen, so I'm struggling for content but anyway, I'll try and get something out for you each day, even if it's just something short. Anyway, see you in the next one. See my zoomed up dirty thumb. I'm going to go get some of that uh, grit mitt soap that sponsored me a little while back and uh, get all this stuff off my hands. Anyway, see you later. Hope it was interesting and uh, we'll find something more useful soon.